Yo peeps, I'm back in London now and I came to see my family and it triggered some thoughts in my eyes and I was talking to my mum and dad this morning about the epidemic of loneliness and how this new generation just sits on their phone and doesn't go back and see their parents and isn't very good at actually building communities. We seem to build these online communities where you're involved in some like crypto chat on Telegram and I don't know, you're like following someone on Instagram and you're like the groups online are not tight groups. These people don't give a shit about you. That's the issue with the online world. You can definitely connect with people. You can definitely make friends with your followers. You can definitely reach out and actually make real life connections because these are real human beings behind the screen. The difficulty is you have to understand the psychology of what's it like to be behind a screen and to try and attempt to make friends. People are not naturally inclined to befriend someone that you meet online okay so my followers my subscribers it's great to eventually meet these people but ultimately that's not the community that you're looking for you're really looking for real connections face-to-face -face connections there was a study done that 25 percent of 15 year olds in the uk are actually unsatisfied with their life which doesn't surprise me at all because they're, they're just not social anymore, these kids. They sit there playing Fortnite. They sit there scrolling TikTok. And I observe people everywhere I go. I observe people on the street. I observe people at the airport. I observe people in any scenario at the mall. I'm like sitting behind them and just taking a quick look at what they're doing. And most of the time, people are either swiping TikTok and swiping Instagram. That is 80% of the time when I look at someone's phone, they are swiping one of those social media apps. What a sad state of affairs, hey? Why don't you step back and actually try and make some real friends or pick your head up off the phone and talk to people? How about that? Have you forgotten how to do that? You know, to the young people that are watching this, a lot of them will think they're super cool and will feel like they're, they're already fine in life. They probably shouldn't listen to someone like me. You know, I'm, I'm in my mid-30s now. Why should I listen to men like me? Because men like me are successful on every possible facet in life and will destroy you at anything you tend to compete with me on. Money, destroy you. Girls, destroy you. Good women, relationships will destroy you. Friendships, deep friendships. Today I'm going to a pub in Fulham and 20 of my friends are going to be there and these are close people that will be there for me. That's community. I've come back to see my parents. I've come back to spend time with my nephews. I've come back to see people because I value them. You may not get on with your parents. You may not get on with your mum and dad. You may have fights with them. You may be like, oh, my dad's a dick. I mean, every girl I met in America is like, my mom's a bitch. My dad's an asshole. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Idiots. Tired of hearing this dumb shit from people's mouth that, oh, my dad's an asshole. Yeah, he's your father, for God's sake. Respect people. Have some sympathy. Listen to their point of view. I always come back and I might not necessarily 100% get on with my brothers and my father and like have things in common. You don't need to have things in common. It's called love. You love these people and you don't want to be lonely. You don't want to be sitting there on Twitter or oh, X or on Instagram or on TikTok like a keyboard warrior commenting and watching video after video thinking you're going to make your real friends online. My bro, you will not make your real friends online. Your real friends are face-to-face -face people that you will meet. Another thing I can tell you is that you will not meet your friends at parties. I spent a shit ton of money at parties in Miami, Tulum, um, Dubai over the past 10 years. Everywhere you can think of, Marbella, Ibiza. I've been to the best places in the world and spent a shit ton of money on bottles of champagne and Grey Goose. And you know what? I never really made good, strong, connected friends at parties because it's a show-off environment. Everyone thinks they're the shit when they're really not. They're a bunch of pussies hiding a bunch of insecurities. That's what I've really noticed. So your real friends you will make at like networking events and business conferences, actually. I've made some of my best friends at business conferences. And just really trying to meet people face to face. Try to get involved in communities, day-to-day -day type communities, whether you're volunteering, whether it's a, um, you know, getting a job. Don't go so remote. Remote work sucks because you don't see anyone. You're alone the whole damn time. You want to sit in your room and work alone for eight hours and think you're going to get somewhere? You're not, my friend. The reason why I got places in this life is because I had jobs in the city around real people who gave me a damn hard time and I learned how to communicate with human beings. If you have a job and you're remote, go to the office. Go and see people. Go and collaborate with human beings. 
We are in a loneliness epidemic and people are struggling. People will die of loneliness. People think they're cool and rich and wealthy. You're a fucking loser. You don't have any friends. No one cares about you. You don't make any effort with others. You don't go and visit your parents. You don't go and visit your friends. You don't reach out to them because you're like, oh, they should reach out to me. Oh, they should message me. No one's going to message you. No one cares. Everyone's too ingrained in their own lives, getting up to their own shit. So reach out to them. Reach out to your friends. You have a duty to reach out to others and to build your community. You must cultivate your environment. You must cultivate your community. If you're lonely, it is your fault. I am sorry. It is your fault if you are lonely. Escape this loneliness epidemic by making some effort with people. Talk to people in coffee shops. Attend networking events. If you have a remote job, go and uh, go to the office and try and collaborate with people. Message your colleagues. Hey, I'd like to meet you face to face. I'd like to see some human beings. Jeez, man, we're all sitting there behind a damn screen and it's all smoke and mirrors online, right? No one gives a shit about you online. They're trying to sell you a bunch of courses. They don't give a shit about you. They're trying to make money from you. Very, very few influencers online like myself are genuinely trying to help you, genuinely trying to improve your life and make sure you live a better, happy life like myself. I struggled. Now I don't struggle. Well, obviously, we all struggle at times. I've had tough points in the last few weeks because of business. Um... So we all struggle, right? It, but but like some of us struggle a lot more than others. Some of us can't get any girls. Some of us don't have enough money. Some of us are lonely. Some of us are working two jobs and we're struggling. So you got to be there for people, man. Like reach out to your boys or reach out to your girls. I'll tell you one interesting thing about girls is girls are so disloyal to each other. It's so funny. Every girl friendship eventually dies after a number of different years because girls are such disloyal creatures to each other. It's hilarious. I don't know any girls that have kept their friendship up for like 20 years. Hilarious. Honestly, hilarious. Boys, we stick together. We are brothers. We stick together through thick and thin. We are there for each other and long may that continue. You must connect with your boys and stick to them face to face. Yeah, you can make some connections online. I recommend doing video calls to build some sort of connection. There are people that I've done video calls with over the last couple of months and I've improved our connection by seeing their face. Okay, Typing to people is bullshit. Pick up the phone, man. You want to be an adult? You want to make real connections? Pick up the phone. Don't be, I hate typing to people on WhatsApp. Hey, how you doing? Fucking call me, bro. I'm not going to sit here and tell you how I'm doing. Call me and video call me so you can see my face. We're humans. We must continue to express ourselves. None of this bullshit living that we now live in. Fine, we might be wealthier. Well, that's not necessarily the case, actually. Looking at some recent stats is that the, the wealthier are a much smaller percentage than, they, than, than it used to be. The rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer. So, bros, you got to be there for each other. And again, I've created my school community for this exact reason. And I'm not going to keep posting my school community in the description and constantly trying to push it down your throat, whether you sign up or don't. Whatever. I'm, i got money anyway. I'm not relying on your money. I'd like you to be in there so that I can improve your life and make you happier. That's the idea of these videos, that's the idea of my channel, and that's the idea of my community. So I hope this video has been important to you, I hope this video has been, please do share it with someone, please like and subscribe and share it because it does help with the algorithm and I want people to understand and I speak from the bottom of my heart now, I've stopped doing the videos that are much more rehearsed and scripted and I'm now doing much more off the cuff videos because I'm a G and I don't need to write fucking scripts. So that's why I'm doing these videos again. Peace my guys.